Hello students, welcome to another lesson of business studies. Today's topic is staffing process. So as we all know that staffing is a function of management which concentrates on the manpower planning, recruitment, selection, training, compensation, promotion, etc. Basically, staffing function is concerned with the employees or the members of the company. So this staffing function is performed by following a systematic process. And this process consists of some steps. These are as follows. Number one, estimating the type of manpower requirement. Human resource planning begins with the estimation of manpower requirement which means finding out the number and the type of employees needed by the organization. Type of employees here means what should be the qualification, educational background of the people whom we want to appoint. For estimating the manpower requirement, the company will take the following three steps. First, Workload analysis. This means finding out the number and the type of employees required in the organization. Next, workforce analysis. It means analyzing the existing workforce or employees already working in the organization and how many of them are overburdened or underburdened. Overburden means when a person is working more than his capacity and underburden means when a person is working lesser than his capacity. And the third step is comparison. After doing workload and workforce analysis, the manager compares both. If the workload is more than the workforce, then it indicates understaffing. Whereas if the workforce is more than the workload, then it indicates overstuffing. Here, understaffing means when you have less employees on the organization and you need to appoint more people. And overstuffing means when you have more people and you need to remove or transfer some of the employees elsewhere. The second step in the uh, staffing process is recruitment. It refers to bringing out the candidates to apply for the job in your organization. In this, the organization searches for suitable candidates and indu induces them to apply for the job. To recruit people from outside, the organization contact various um, placement consultants, then employment exchanges, contractors, etc. Number three is selection. After the recruitment, many candidates will apply for the job. So the next step is selection of suitable candidates from all the applicants. It refers to choosing the most suitable candidates for the job. Selection is done through conducting tests, interviews, etc. so that suitable candidate can be selected. The fourth step is placement and orientation. After the selection, the employee is given appointment letter and is asked to occupy the uh, vacant job position. Vacant means empty job position. Placement refers to occupying of post by the candidate for which he is selected. And the last step is training and development. After the selection of the employees, they need to be given a proper training for their overall growth and development. To improve the skills of the employees and to motivate them, it is necessary to provide training and development opportunities for employees so that they can reach to the top and keep improving their skills.